Essential Math Skills in A-Level Biology with Dr. Biology. Hi everybody, it's Dr. Biology here and this video is on standard form and multiplying numbers in a standard form. So even though it says A-Level Biology, don't let the title put you off. If you're doing any science, GCSE or A-Level, um, these videos will help. So let's get started. Okay, so standard form, it's really useful for writing very big numbers. So for example, in physics or very small numbers, and that's particularly in biology. So as it says there, we deal with very small numbers indeed. So here is a couple of examples. So here's a very small uh, number. So 0 0.00017. Uh, it can be written as 1.7 times 10 to the minus 4. Or if we've got a rather large number like 160 million, um, that can be written as 1.6 times 10 to the 8. So let's look at how you exactly do that. OK, so first of all, in standard form, a number is written as the following. So a times 10 to the n, OK? So a, you've got to remember, a is a decimal between 1 and 9.9, .9, OK? For example, 7.0. n is a whole number, and the power of 10 can be positive or negative. So here we have an example of 7 times 10 to the minus 6. So naught points, and you can see the arrows. So we count the arrows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So to make it 7 times 10 to the minus 6 in standard form. That happens to be the size of a red blood cell, or the diameter of a red blood cell, I should say. OK, so here's some examples. And I'm going to give you a few moments to have a go at these. So what I suggest you do is pause and answer. So pause in three, two, one. OK, so here are the answers. OK, so the first one is 8 times 10 to the minus 3. So I'm going to use my little pointer here and just show you how I came up with that. So you can see it goes 1, 2, and 3, because a has to be a whole number. So it's 8 times 10 to the minus 3. 7 to uh, 0 0.07 is 1, 2. So that's 7 to the times 10 to the minus 2. Now, this one's diff uh, different. Obviously, remember, you've got to have it between um, 0 to 9.9. .9. So this is going to be just the 1. So it's 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus 1. OK. Next one, one, two, three, four, five. So 5.2 times 10 to the minus 5. This one will go to 4.8. So it's 4.8 times 10 to the minus 2. One, two, three, eight point six 8.6 times 10 to the minus 3. One, two, three, four. So that's 10 to the minus 4. Obviously, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 10 to the minus 5. And then a really small number. And it actually is, if you count it all, and I'm not going to do it all because it'll take ages, it's 1 times 10 to the minus 10. And then this one, don't get confused, it's still 4.55 times 10 to the minus 4. Um, I will show you in this video how to use your calculator to work that out if you don't want to do it manually. OK, so in an exam question, they might ask you, for example, how many red blood cells are in a sample? So let's look at this together. So it tells you one millimetres cubed of blood contains around five million red blood cells. How many red blood cells would there be in a standard blood donation of 470 centimetres cubed? So as you can see in this um, example, you've got red blood cells in a donation of 470 centimetres cubed. Well, that's not millimetres cubed. So you need to first convert the, it into the same units. So 470 times 1,000 to get 470,000 millimetres cubed. And then you convert them into standard form. So 5 million is 5 times 10 to the 6. And 470,000 is 4.7 times 10 to the 5. 
You then calculate the total number of red blood cells in a donation. So um, number of red blood cells times millimeters cubed. OK, so you know the red blood cells, you know the amount of blood. OK, and you multiply them together. Now, it's really interesting here that the way that you multiply it is you can see you've got the 10 to the 6 and the 10 to 5. Well, what you do is you times them. OK, so um, and I'll show you again in the cat on the calculator how you do that. It's probably best to do this calculation on a calculator and you will get 23.5 times 10 to the 11. So in standard form, it would be 2.35 times 10 to the 12 per blood donation. Because remember, A has to be between, well, it could be up to 9.9 .9 basically. So it would be 2.35 times 10 to the 12. Okay, here's another very similar question. Again, if you want to pause it and have a go at that, that'd be great. So again, one millimeters cubed contains six and a half million bacteria. How many bacteria would be contained in a sample of 500 centimeters cubed of blood? And it says show your answer in standard form. So again, you would have to convert the 500 centimeters cubed into millimeters. OK, so and then put it into standard form. So it's five times 10 to the five. The number of bacteria is 6.5 times 10 to the six. So again, you do the multiplication and you should get 3.25 times 10 to the 12. Okay, so here are a few more questions for you. Okay, so again, I'd like you to pause it and have a go at these questions. So in three, two, one. Right, so the answers, so write this, this does in standard form. We should say write this down in standard form. So 0.0004, so one, two, three, four, so it's four times 10 to the minus four. And then it says the tablets that the hospital stocks contain eight times 10 to the minus five grams. OK, of the drug. How many tablets should the patient be given each day? Right. Well, you've got to divide the number of grams in the dose by the number of grams in each tablet to get the answer. So it's literally 4.4 times 10 to the minus four divided by eight times 10 to the minus five. And that gives you five tablets. OK, here's another one. This is a bit harder. So it does say you've got to calculate the density of blood. And so they give you two things. They contain they they show you the mass. OK, so the what it weighs and the volume of blood. So you would need to know the equation for density. OK, so I'd like you to have a go at that. If you can't remember density, look it up and I'll show you in a minute. OK, so three, two, one. Right, so density is mass divided by volume. So all you do is take the mass and you divide it by the volume. OK, and that'll give you a very long winded number, but they want the answer in standard form. So it would be 7.7, .7, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 10 to the 5 grams per meters cubed. Bit harder that one, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. Right, OK, so I'm going to now go through using the calculator to show you some of those examples, uh, some useful calculator skills, um, because I think in an exam it would be quicker if you did use your calculators. Um, and I'm using a Casio FX991EX Class Wiz. And I'll, haste, I'll, I'll tell you that they haven't given me a free calculator. OK, uh, it'd be nice if it did. Um, anyway, but you can use any other calculator and they're pretty similar. Right, let's get going. So here are some pretty standard questions. I'm going to go through each one in turn. So first of all, A, write 0 0.0000682 in standard form. OK, so what I need to do is convert 0 0.0000 682 into standard form. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shift menu. I'm going to choose three number format, two science notation 
and science select i'm going to go for nine okay uh, then equals and you can see there it goes six point eight two times ten to the minus five Question B, write 9.176 times 10 to the 7 as an ordinary number. So next question, so I'm going to take 9.176 and it's times 10. So this button down here times 10 to the 7. OK, now in standard form, that would be 9.1. 2 times 10 to the 7 or 9.176 times 10 to the 7 okay so uh, we need to convert that into an ordinary number so there i have my science notation so to convert it into a normal number three number format and then three norm and then i'm going to select two okay and then equals there we go so it's nine well, ninety-one million seven hundred and sixty thousand. Question C: Divide eight thousand five hundred million by two hundred and fifty, and it wants you to give your answer in standard form. Eight thousand five hundred million. Well, you could do eight thousand five hundred times ten to the six, but I'm going to do all zeros. So one, two, three four five six and it wants you to divide it by 250 so 250 and that will give me my kind of ordinary number but i want to give it in standard form okay so again i go to shift setup three number format two psi science notation and then i'll go nine and then I press the equals button and it will give me 3.4 times 10 to the 7. And there we go. I hope you found that really useful. Please do subscribe to Doctor Biology and there's a lot more videos like that coming soon. Take care. See you.